everyone, this is Julie Murphy, and today I'm going to embroider on this blue t-shirt, and I'm going to be doing one of the Urban Thread, uh, the Bohemian Compass Rose. So I just wanted to show you what I have to get started. I've got two different um, no-show mesh stabilizers. The pink one is an iron-on uh, cutaway, and the white one is just a regular cutaway no-show mesh. I've got both of them pre-cut. I've also added a little bit of like a sticky tape to my hoop just to add a little bit of extra stability. So let me go ahead and get everything hooped up and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. One thing I do want to point out is I lay my stabilizers down flat on the table before I go trying to snap them into the hoop. Part of the reason I do that is I want to get the stabilizer as flat as I can and if I'm trying to get it in the hoop, get all the crinkles out, it just doesn't work as well. So let me go ahead and put it in the hoop and I'll show you the next step. Now it's in the hoop and ready for me to slide the shirt over it and press it with the iron. So here we are at the machine and as you can see I've got the actual shirt turned sideways in the hoop. So a couple of things we need to do before we proceed. First, first thing we're going to do is select embroidery. And then we're going to go up to edit. And because I have the shirt in sideways, I need to go ahead and rotate the design to the right so that my arrows will be pointing up. So we're going to rotate 90 degrees and I'll say OK. Before we go back over to the shirt, the other thing I need to do is I want to go in and add a basting stitch around my design. And the basting stitch just helps hold the shirt to the two layers of stabilizer. So I'm going to select this little box that has the flower in it, and that is our basting stitch. So if you'll look right here, let me zoom in for you. So if you watch right around here around the design, as I press the box, you'll see the basting stitch appear. See that little extra black line here? That is the basting stitch. Let me zoom back out for you. And so when we start stitching, this is actually going to stitch first. So now what we're going to do, I like to stitch by first selecting this plus minus down here. And what that does is it shows me what is going to stitch first. And so the first thing that's going to do is stitch the basting stitch. Now obviously I don't have to stitch it in black even though that's what it's showing. I usually just baste with whatever my first color is. So let's go back over to the shirt. Now I finished the basting stitch. You can see I pulled up the threads from the, the bobbin thread and the top thread so that it would go around the shirt easily. And we are ready to begin stitching. 